All right, welcome back. Um, I'd like now to transition to a very important topic of the day, and that is announcing and celebrating our research poster awardees. For this, <laughs> I'd like to acknowledge our statewide Indiana CTSI education program leadership and our navigators who made this review possible. And with us representing these groups are Kurt Kroenke, who is our valued colleague from the and the inaugural uh, director of our clinical investigation and translational education program or site. Uh, Tom Hurley, our T32 director. Thank you. <laughs> There's Kurt, our esteemed colleague and site director. <laughs> Tom is our T32 director. Samir Gupta and Margie Snyder are leaders of the K-12 Early Career Investigator Program. Linda DiMeglio, our co-lead for workforce development. Patty McGuire, our education program manager. And Tammy Sajak, our School of Medicine uh, CTSI navigator. Would you all please join me on stage? And I will turn things over to Margie to introduce our first award presentation. Sorry, I'm navigating here. All right, uh, thank you, Sarah. So as Sarah mentioned, I'm the Associate Director for the K-12 program, um, and it is my distinct pleasure to have the opportunity today to tell you about a new award that we created to honor uh, the mentors that take their, give us generously their time and talents to um, the K-12 program. Um, so this award, again, is the CTSI Mentoring Excellence Award. This is the inaugural year, and it's my pleasure to introduce you um, to this year's uh, first um, awardee, Dr. Sharon Moe. If you could please join us on the podium. <laughs> Dr. Moe joined the IU School of Medicine in 1992 and became a full professor in 2005. Since 2011, she has led the Division of Nephrology and Hypertension and was named the Stuart A. Cleet Professor of Nephrology, leading to a continuous expansion and growth of the division. In recognition of her outstanding leadership, she has held numerous other high-level administrative roles at the IU School of Medicine, starting as an assistant dean for research in 2001, later becoming vice chair of research, and in 2020 was named co-director of the Indiana CTSI and associate dean for clinical and translational medicine. In 2019, she was named distinguished professor, the highest honor at Indiana University, and in 2020, she received the Bicentennial Medal for her outstanding lifetime contribution and leadership at the IU School of Medicine. Dr. Mo is an extremely accomplished, accomplished clinical and translational researcher. She has published over 200 peer-reviewed articles, 28 book chapters, and over 50 invited reviews, editorials, and letters. Her work has been cited over 25,000 times. Her five most cited works have each received over 500 citations, the highest being over 2,000. Dr. Mo was nominated by former K-12 scholar, Dr. Annabelle Biruati, <laughs> sorry, Annabelle, um, a PhD, um, who was a K-12 scholar, a KL2 scholar from 2022 to this year, and she's an associate professor at Purdue in nutrition science. She was mentored by Dr. Mo since 2018 when joining her lab as a T32 post postdoctoral fellow. Moreover, enthusiastic letters of support were submitted by Kathleen Hill Gallant, um, Associate Professor at the University of Minnesota in Nutrition Science, and Brandon Kistler, who's an Assistant Professor at Purdue in Nutrition Science, who are both Dr. Moe's uh, current mentees. So with that, Sharon, please accept this award with the gratitude of our current and formal scholars and all of our faculty. Thank you so much. Okay, so now I would like to turn it over to Tom Hurley, Samir Gupta, and Linda DeMeglio, who will introduce the Crunky Poster Awards. Thanks, Margie. Um, so as a co-director for our T32 training program, 
and someone who's been involved in the uh, workforce uh, group for the last six years. Um, I can speak a, a little bit to the uh, history of this award uh, from my own set of experiences. So um, let's go forward. Um, so in 2018, um, the, the Cron Kurt Cronkey Poster Award was, uh, was created and given to meritorious um, TL1 pre-doc and postdoc scholars, as well as KL2 early career faculty investigators. So for historical purposes, TL1 and KL2s are the old names for the K-12 and the T-32 programs. All right, so, um, so the Cronkey Poster Award winners um, were, are affectionately named <laughs> after um, Dr. Kirk Kroenke and his extensive contributions uh, to the career development, education, and research training programs of the Indiana CTSI. Um, he's a Chancellor's Professor of Medicine at IU and a research scientist at the Reagan Shreve Institute. He's also past president of the Society for General Internal Medicine, from which he received the 19, uh, 2000, 19 this is how old I am, right? The, my default is still 19. 2018 Glazer Award for a Lifetime Achievement. He's also past president of the Association for Clinical Research Training, which honored him with their Distinguished Educator Award. So Dr. Cronkrieg founded and directed the IU Clinical Research Training Program and has directed the Master's in Clinical Research Program for over 20 years. He initiated, I'm gonna, my, this has began, he initiated, he created the CTSI educational programs, which he led from um, 2007 to 2018. Um, and uh, they have supported, as you'll uh, maybe hear later, several hundred trainees, clinical and translational scientists since then. And I wanna point out that the, the critical nature of Kurt's contribution is that it takes three of us to replace him. Um, so I think it's just absolutely fitting that an award that celebrates excellence and impact in clinical and translational research carries his name. Now, um, Sam, uh, Samira now will explain the poster award process and how we arrived at the awardees' decisions. There we go. There. <laughs> Excellent. All right, thanks, Tom. So the process is fairly straightforward. We review our poster submissions based on the classic NIH review criteria, which regularly evaluates the scientific merit. This is always a difficult process uh, for the judges, given the quality, um, especially coming from so many excellent institutions throughout Indiana. Given uh, the outstanding nature of the submissions, we are very much indebted to the time and the effort that the judges contribute to the process. I'd also like to thank, of course, all the poster presenters. You came and presented us with new ideas, opportunities to network, and encouragement that our research is changing our knowledge and ultimately our practice of health. And of course, once again, to all the judges, um, it was a difficult task, I am sure. Um, I was not one of them, so it's easy to thank everyone else. But it's always an enjoyable, inspiring one as we continue to be amazed at the ideas and the research. And to introduce our first set of awardees, I will ask Kurt himself to come and award the Kroenke Poster Awards. Well, I just am gratified by two things. Obviously, it's always um, um, very honorific to have an eponymic award, which means it, it includes your, your name in it, which means you've been around long enough. Um, second, um, the introduced by Samir, who was one of the first people in the clinical research training program back about 20 years ago. So he started as an assistant professor then and is now a full professor uh, announcing the award. So I'm gratified by that as well. So the two award winners that uh, I'm going to uh, introduce and have them come up here if they're present. First is for the K K-12 Scholar Award is Tariq um, uh, Yuja, I believe. Um, I actually had a look at the um, 
his IU uh, website where he introduces himself as a physician to get the pronunciation because uh, I myself, most people can't pronounce my name, but I am very uh, grateful to present this award to Tariq um, as the K-12 Scholar Award. I think this was to come over here. Oh, oh right. And for the T32 uh, postdoctoral uh, award, it's going to be to uh, Caitlin Thomas from Notre Dame. And for the um, rest of the investigator awards, which were done by an extensive uh, review committee, um, I'm going to invite up uh, Tammy, Tammy Sajak, um, who's going to announce the uh, remainder of these awards. Okay, thank you, Kurt. It is my pleasure to provide an award to, so I'm going to be doing these awards um, for investigators. The first person is Clayton Hicks. Next is Julie Pike. No, no, Julie. Okay. Okay. Um, next, Shailen Antolino. No? And finally, Tonya Toya Panda. Please join me in celebrating all of our uh, Cronkie awardees. And now our co-directors, Sharon Moe and Sarah Weehy, would like to close our award ceremony with a special announcement. All right, thanks, Tammy. Um, it is now our privilege this year to honor the Dr. Kurt Cronkie. <laughs> You did try to retire at least partially in 2018 and you got a named award, teaching award. And now you're threatening to fully retire. I don't even know what the CTSI program will be without you. Um, you've heard a little bit about the impact uh, that Curtis had on the Indiana CTSI, our education program and faculty across the nation. Um, thank you. I'm not can't adjust the slides and talk at the same time. <laughs> um, but we'd like to quantify it a bit, just so you know how significant his uh, contributions have been. And you can see this on the slide behind us. It was really hard to put into words uh, the gratitude and the lifelong lessons from so many people, but we tried. 
It is our pleasure to provide a, a book that contains the photos, remembrances, and special moments from so many of your mentees, colleagues, and friends. And since it's coffee table size, because as we know, you've had hundreds of mentees, <laughs> many of whom responded um, with their uh, thoughts, insights, and gratitude for you that hopefully we know that you will enjoy reading. Um, we hope that you will keep it near to you, even in this next chapter. And Kurt, you may be retiring, but your legacy will live on forever here at IU. Thank you. Thank you very much for this, uh, this uh, very poignant gift.